Hello, hello. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Uh, I was just getting a cup of coffee. Oh yeah. Gotta have the coffee. Uh, figure out. Ah! I wasn't expecting the door to open inward. <coughs> Excuse me. I did get uh, a little bit of equipment over here that we had bought. Yeah. A little bit. Not a whole bunch, but I think we have enough to get started. Uh, I do not have a silo in yet, and I don't have a uh, harvester yet, but, you know, first things first. First thing I want to do is plow out a field. We have, uh, let's see, we have this field here, on, or this plot here on the other side of the road. Small one, then a larger one. Then we have these two little spots across on the other side of the road and in front of the farm. I think I want to start right there. I do have a tree, couple trees there I'll need to get rid of, but uh, I'm not really worried about those right now. So I think we'll start on 25 and 26. I do want to put a divide, a road in between them. I'm not going to have great big huge fields. I want them manageable where I won't have to uh, take three days in, in video to plow or whatever, you know. I, I want to uh, be able to, uh, what am I doing? I want to be able to keep it at least halfway interesting for you guys, you know, I mean, it's... No, I want to go the other way, Betty. Back up a little bit more, then start turning in. A little bit more. Now I need to go the other way. My backup skills are black in real life. It's it's not the greatest. Now straighten up your wheels. There you go. Now back into it. Ooh, not too hard. There you go. But I think I'm going to start out here and get those little plots in front plowed. You can go in and uh, into the paint and paint in fields. And we may do that later, but I'm trying to save a little bit of money because I don't want to be broke. So, it looks like it runs, or it starts, yeah, it starts over here, goes along this road, yeah, goes up along that road in front of us, along this road we're on, so I think what we'll do is start down here. I want to leave it a little bit of room on the road. Yeah, probably about 
Now I'm going to leave a little bit more room than that. Come over here. Yeah, about right there, I would think. Now, I'm not guaranteeing this will be straight. All right, let's lower the plow, or unfold the plow, X. Uh, get up here where I want to start, probably about right there. That looks about right. And I want to allow, create fields, Y. And V to lower the plow. And here we go. Come on. You can do it. I may have because this tractor might not be strong enough. Here I thought it was a good one, but all right, I am going to go probably up here to about where the entrance is. Yeah, about right here. So, V, lift the plow up, and how big is that? That's not going to be very big, is it? <sighs> I yeah, it's gonna ha I'm going to have to have it a little bit more than that. Straighten our wheels up. Maybe on the other side of the tree. That might be enough. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I want to lower the plow again. <coughs> I'll get it. I'm just trying to judge how big I want it. on the other side of this tree. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to get a stronger tractor. A little bit more. And I am not going straight at all. <laughs> oh well, well, we'll straighten it out. We will. Just a little bit further, I think. Let's go up to about here. And on a well, one on the other side of that tree, so keep going, Biddy. Alright. Right there. So I'm gonna lift the plow again with V. The other way, Betty. I'm left-handed. <laughs> and as my husband says, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. It's rainy and the allergies are doing me in. I'm really not bad on the fields, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not proving it right now. Let's 
get. All right. I mean, it looks straight to me, but I know it's not. So let's lower the plow again. <laughs> I want to get the outline, and then we can go from there. Go up to the end, end of our property line here. Goes out quite a ways. I'd say about right there. Yeah, it's going to be plenty big enough. Raise up the plow again. No, Betty. You want to go the other way, Betty. again. Get that straight. I could probably use put GPS on it, and, but I don't. The way it's looking, I don't think I'm going to keep this tractor. I'm going to have to go with a a little bit better engine, I think. Because that is not... Uh, not pulling very well. It's kind of losing torque or something. Now it looks like that line is a little bit straighter than the other one. I'm going to go about right here. Here, raise up my plow. Then I'm going to go down to the other end and bring it this way. Then I'll see how close I am to meeting. Oh, that is crooked. I mean, really crooked. Oh, well. I'll straighten it out. May take me a while, but I will straighten it out. Right here. Oh my God, look straight. I look straight. All right, let's go. I mean, it, it it's looking straight according to the road. Let me put it that way. Come on, tractor, you can do it. Let me get the outline done, and then I will trade you in. Get a better horsepower. I 
that thing, it's, I mean, it'll go a little bit, then it'll hesitate. Go a little bit and hesitate. up the plow. Come over just a little bit more. Lower it down, and we'll go to the shop. Come on, Betty. Okay. Raise it up. Fold it up. I am just going to move it over here. to drop it off. Oh, let me check something. What horsepower is this? Go down here to where it looks like a little house. That's your garage. 190 horsepower. I figured that would be plenty for that little plow. What is that plow? It takes 180. I figured on this flat ground, 180 would. Hang on. Let's, let's go to town and get a better tractor. don't like this one as well as I thought I would. I figured 190 horsepower would be enough to get us going good, but apparently not. I mean, it's a medium tractor. Hopefully I'll get a decent amount of money back for it. Uh, let's go around. We go around this way. And there's where you get gas. Right there where that tank is. This is where garage is. And we come over here to this door. And R. lose some money on it but okay let's go see what I can get with a little bit more oomph to it I don't want to have to buy uh, borrow money this this early in the game
about uh, tractors. Medium tractor. I got 900 or 961,000. So yeah. Uh, This one has 200 horsepower, or 152-200. Fant, two, 246, that's better. That's got up to 220. Don't want the Valtra. Two hundred and thirty-five only. New Holland two seventy-three to three thirteen. We we may end up going with that one. Dutes two hundred and eighty-seven. What about this case? Two sixty-one. Three thirteen, I like that. There's since 310, McCormick. Hmm. I mean, this is, goes up to 313 horsepower. This goes up to 310, so that's only three horsepower. And it's, 7,000 cheaper. It's called the McCormick. <coughs> Wheel brand. Michelin. Since it doesn't cost anything. Standard setup. Seven thirty one. Yeah, let's go with that one. I stick with the I like the red and white. Don't want a license plate. It's going to cost me two hundred and forty three thousand. That hurts. All right. Let's go back and see if we can get that field put in now. I've never worked with a McCormick, so I'm not, not, don't know much about them. Yeah. Get back over here and hook back up to the plow. Like I say, once once I get it all plowed in, then I will straighten up the edges. Even that is crooked. Oh man. That's even crooked. Oh well. We go. Now 
now it's just a matter of plowing it in and or plowing out the center and then uh, no Betty don't hit E that's a good way to hurt yourself get your fingers on the right keys Back this up, uh, unfold the plow, and Y, allow create fields again. I can come over just a hair. That looks better. And lower the plow. And let's go again. I don't mind a little overlap. Oh, that's much better. Much, much better. Now I'm not struggling. Get this thing plowed out. There was a new toy to me in the Mod Hub. I'm going to have to give it a try. Once I get a decent headland, then we'll, uh, uh, boy, that's crooked. Ah. Once we get a decent headland, then I'll just go up and down. Yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and go up and down now. We've got a we've got a good lay headland going. This McCormick's a pretty handy little tractor. I like this. Okay, up and down. Drop it. This isn't a very big field. It shouldn't take much time at all to get it plowed out. But I want I can always merge them together later. But right now oh, time's up already. I want to play this more than what I do. <laughs> I I did download uh, No Man's Land, and I also downloaded Middleburg. 
Now, Middleburg, New York. Uh, so I can play on those in what little off time I do have. One more row with you guys, and then I'll finish it and get it straightened up on my own time. Oop. Lower it back down. Get over here and make sure I get all of them. And this will need, probably need limed and fertilized and then seeded and all that fun stuff. Okay, folks, well, I guess that'll do it for us today. I know it's not a very big field, but it's a start. Don't want to get in a hurry. I like to take things slow and easy and make sure I, I get each little part right. <laughs> I know I'm a perfectionist. I can't I can't stand it if nothing's you know if something's not right to my satisfaction. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. You know, hit that like button. Just don't hit it hard enough to hurt your finger. I want all injuries to be in game only. Uh, if you want to see more, I am playing eight different games. That's right, eight. I am playing The Infected, Rising World, Eco, The Planet Crafter, Worm Unlimited, Trader Life Simulator. I just started on this game, Farming Simulator 22, and I just started Bakery Shop Simulator. I do a check it out Sunday, every Sunday. Uh, I just find something in my library I haven't played in a long time and we just check it out let you guys see what you think about it but if you decide you want to subscribe you're more than welcome I mean if you decide you I mean it's free doesn't cost a penny if you decide you don't like my content you can always unsubscribe I mean it hurt my feelings a little bit but fine I'll get over it but anyway, I want you to have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.